guys welcome back to my channel so today's gonna be something probably not exciting for some but I'm gonna share my story on what I went through like this was a few years ago right so yeah because I know that there's a lot of people on my um, social media that has been asking me like they always ask me for advice and they always say that oh how come my life is like how come I have to suffer through this and um, they think that they're alone basically let's just say that everyone on social media has a persona to show do you know what I'm saying as in like nothing is as it seems on social media like people may take the best photos the best lifestyle photos but it's not really exactly what is going on in their life you know that's just content it's not really how they feel it's not what they've been through you don't know what it is that's going on behind closed doors so i just want everyone to remember that that it's just like people think that what well, i've got you know this whole social media situation like working through this and everything's like so easy and you know like it's 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 not really like i i generally on a daily basis always have to um, fight through a lot of thoughts in my mind too but what i'm going to speak about today is that i have been through anxiety and depression um I never want to speak about it, I never wanted to talk about it because I feel very embarrassed and it's not something that we should be really embarrassed about because it is something that is serious, like it's, everyone has triggers, everybody has things that uh, makes them upset or they overthink things, like there has to be something that of course makes you feel upset, uh, like not worthy, a situation, a person anything to be honest with you um so yeah i'm going to show you my story without telling you too much but i'm going to tell you guys that i have been through that and that like it wasn't easy like i i don't think that anyone should be really embarrassed about talking about it and i think that at least to tell some people out there that just because we're looking look at us on social media the photos that we post the stuff that we do it doesn't mean that we haven't been through certain things and certain things that have triggered us in life you know things can bring you down so you don't think that you have to be strong all the time there are a lot of things that people don't show on camera and i just wanted to say that it is okay so anyway i'm going to get to the point without naming names I was in a relationship with someone that meant the world to me. Like, I li literally thought that this was my future and that was at the time, like, that I didn't see anything else, you know. I was happy and I just felt like it was what we had was real you know anyway so when that got taken away from us it wasn't a choice of ours we basically got told we weren't allowed to be together mind you I was 20 I'd say so I could make decisions for myself but In the other party it wasn't allowed so I to this day don't understand why it happened what was said because I believe that there was something that was said to have triggered this decision um, but it was really 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 unfair because it literally had ruined me like there was there's ways of doing things and this definitely wasn't one I feel like it was very very unfair and because of that I literally had suffered a very long time feeling so depressed I was honestly I was so so upset like thinking back on that 
I literally have like water coming in my eyes now because it was it's it's pretty much it was it's like sad that I literally went like I went through a whole year seeing a psychologist because I couldn't I couldn't like fathom the fact of what happened and I never understood I just felt like there was no purpose in my life anymore um Hang on, my makeup is literally going to get ruined. After this whole thing happened, I would literally go to my friend's house that we used to hang up hang out all in a group. I used to try to get my mind off things by hanging out with my friends at their house all the time. And I used to literally sit in their corner, uh, in like, on their couch in the corner and like basically just sit there. Honestly, that's all I did. It was in that corner that was where I was to be found. And I didn't move. I didn't want to do anything. The only thing I did was dance. And um, I started the gym eventually because I the when I went to go see a psychologist I saw one for about a year and um, they told me to do something like you know and I decided to join the gym which was very very helpful I still had the time where when I wasn't at the gym that I'd go away and then I'd still have those you know thoughts and stuff like that that just wouldn't leave me but um, um yeah so oops I remember I used to go to my friend's house and then all of a sudden like I just have that massive that like I'd have a ball in my throat and I just feel like I needed to cry and just let it out I just honestly I was I was I don't even know how to explain how I was feeling and I remember that day where my brother was there because my brother was part of the group that we used to hang out in and um I literally got up and I didn't want him or anybody to see me get upset so I walked around I remember walking up and I went into the kitchen basically down the hallway and I just started crying heaps and I was just no words just cried but like I'm talking heavy crying like I started like heavy crying like it was just so it's like no matter no, like doesn't matter how many times I cried I still felt like there was still some more that I needed to release and I just didn't know how and I remember that time where it was just that bad that I'm just like you know what I need to get help and this was before I got help obviously and I was like I need to get help like this is this can't be happening like I just I needed something I felt like there was no purpose in my life like I thought my life would just it, I, I, it was a blur it was literally a massive blur and um, my brother was like what's happening to her like what's wrong with her like he didn't even know I was literally no one knew how bad I was like what's happening to her he's like what's going on what's wrong with my sister you know like what's going on with her and everyone thought that I was taking everything perfectly fine because that's what I show everyone you know like nobody sees like I said nobody sees what's behind closed doors you only see what's been put on social media like you don't know what someone goes through they say one thing, but they don't really mean it. Do you know what I'm saying? Isn't like you, everyone needs to be very kind to one another because you don't know what it is that they're fighting behind closed doors. And there's no need to be ashamed of anything. Of what is the trigger that makes you upset? Like, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be just a little thing that's falling off the couch, like an OCD thing. Like, oh my God, that thing shouldn't be there. And then you just break out. But there's always something because of that that is making you that upset so I feel like it doesn't matter what it is that's making somebody upset or trigger them to be like basically have a meltdown it like it doesn't matter it doesn't mean they're crazy it doesn't mean they're stupid it doesn't mean nothing you just let somebody feel what they feel like do not judge anybody for what look my one it was over a relationship for how many years ago that it was a basically like a two-year relationship or something and you know, like that was my trigger, I guess. I don't know. That was my that was a learning curve in my life. So it was for a reason, I guess. I don't know why, and I don't still don't understand. But anyway, um, 
But um, yeah, so like I said, I ended up getting help. I was seeing uh, the psychologist for about a year. A whole year, like I literally had to just keep going back because I just couldn't. I felt like if I didn't go back, I'd literally have a relapse. And one day I stopped going. And I put everything I learned into practice. I tried to become better, feel better. You know, like it was, it wasn't easy though. Like I still feel betrayed. I still feel like I don't have the answers that I, that I needed or wanted to help me move forward. Like I went through long periods of time where even the safest place that I used to be made me so happy was to dance and that was taken away from me because it was, I don't know, I just didn't want to dance uh, and one day I was at a rehearsals and I was sitting down watching everyone else and I remember I just burst out crying and I had to walk outside. Probably more than once to be honest with you, um, I remember a couple of them, it was just oh, horrible. The people that knew me knew exactly, like that weren't around me, knew exactly how hard it was. But yeah, it wasn't, wasn't an easy part of my life and it's still feels like it sucks. But just because I still feel like I don't know what makes somebody feel good about themselves to like ruin someone's life. Like I just don't understand what... And you know, I'm talking about actually like three people in this situation. There was two of them and then there was one. And I'm pretty sure that one person had a lot of, a lot of, um, let's say like, a lot of reason for this to have happened. But, um, you know, things happened, everyone's moved on and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say, share my story that I'm not all happy days like I show on social media that um, we all have our days we all have our experiences and um, I probably that was mine like it may not seem as bad as it seems like what like how I'm saying it right now but gosh I'm telling you now it was like tough even now like if I see stuff I'll just be like oh I could get through anything if I went through that I honestly was a whole year just think of that a whole year fighting to get back to knowing that I have a purpose in this life like yeah so that's my story and um, I just wanted to let everyone know that if you do need somebody to speak to they do have helplines they do have um, like you can be anonymous and talk to people get some help or just take yourself to the doctors tell them that you just need someone to talk to they'll give you free sessions of psychology like at a psychologist clinic or in their clinic wherever they have psychologists around um, and yeah they'll help you I'm telling you now it's the best thing that I've done and they do give you advice and like they literally helped me meditate like I literally was meditating sometimes and then it was actually very very like relieving like yeah so I'm okay now and I have a lot of things to look forward to in life but yeah I hope you are well I hope those of you that are hiding behind all these smiles and social media content and photos and life and all that sort of stuff that if you are not okay it's okay to not be okay okay just understand that it's okay and to get help it's not embarrassing I thought it was embarrassing at first but you know what here I am and telling you guys what happened and um, yeah so I hope you're all well and I hope you whoever has gotten this far has enjoyed the video and um, yeah so